Welcome to Greece. I'm here on a nine day trip from Paris and would be visiting top locations in this archipelago of 3000 islands. Wait a minute. I'm only visiting three islands and then the capital city of Athens on the peninsula. I am most excited about Mykonos and Santorini. It is that picture perfect place where you can enjoy an all white experience. There are six main islands and most of them are well connected to the European cities. I'd be using all available forms of transport in this beautiful country. I would drive my rental car, I would take a boat between the islands, take the train and then finally fly back to Dallas from there. On this trip, I would explore beaches, enjoy the nightlife, visit archaeological museums, enjoy the famous Greek food and walk around the small Greek villages. Let's begin our trip with the biggest island of Crete. But the question is, is it worth visiting Crete if you're going to Santorini? Does this largest Greek island have anything that Santorini cannot offer? Is Crete cheaper than Santorini? What are these small traditional villages of Greece? Hey guys, good morning. This is a new day and I'm here in Greece in this party place called Crete. Crete is the place where all of the people go. It is the biggest sort of the party spot in all of Greece. And a lot of people just come here to spend the weekend, to chill, relax. So I have rented a car, this one right behind me. And this is a brand new car. So the plan is to spend three days here and then go to Santorini and then Athens and then a few other places. So I am continuing along the drive along the coast of beautiful city or beautiful place Crete, the party place. I'm going through these windy roads along the sea and enjoying some really beautiful views of these mountains as well as some nice and beautiful beach. I just got my gas tank filled up and it cost me 68 euros uh, to get the whole tank filled up. As you can see, this uh, little gas station area. The island has two main airports, making Crete very easy to get from Athens. Once on the island, you would want to rent a car. It takes about six hours to drive from one end of Crete to the other. My hotel is almost three hours drive from the airport. So let's go and uh, check into the hotel and see what kind of room is this so that I'm uh, getting the ocean view. Let's, see. let's lock the car. The best place to stay in Crete is Chania area or Western Crete, which has the best beaches on the island and some of the best hotels along with beautiful amazing nightclubs. You can easily find luxurious hotels that would cost around $200 per night. Got it. Thank you very much. Hey guys, it's 7 p.m. in the evening, the very first day that I've arrived here in Crete and I'm going out to get me some food and uh, also a couple other essentials that I need. So that's the plan for now. Traditional Greek food is both healthy and flavorful. It is world famous and I wanted to make sure that I try a lot of local dishes. Food and sleep are very important. So after a good meal, I ended my day and went to sleep. Good morning, everyone. This is my first morning in Crete and I'm about to go to the airport, uh, Shania Airport to go pick up uh, a friend of mine. She's coming from San Francisco. And what a beautiful sunrise here. And what I'm doing is capturing this for you guys as a time lapse. All I have to do for this channel. But that's what makes it super exciting. On my way to the Shania airport with these winding roads and uh, just uh, nice and beautiful here.
So now Vina has arrived from San Francisco. How was your flight? Longer. Uh, and she I missed went halfway flight. around the world and some more. So now it's time to go to a really beautiful beach, maybe El Fanosi Beach, and experience the majestic views of the Mediterranean. Where we're going to be going to the most popular beach here, the beautiful city or the island of Crete. We're again passing through some beautiful views of turquoise water and this lake. As you can see, it looks like uh, even some of the cruise ships are coming here. So. Very, very important lake. I think we should uh, check it out sometime. Okay, so the first stop is the supermarket. So here, we're gonna be able to pick up some stuff like uh, something to do picnic, like wine and some other products. We've got a lot of things here. I love going to various grocery stores in new countries. In Crete, the groceries seemed around 30% cheaper than the US. For those of who you are planning a vacation to Santorini, rest assured that there are plenty of ways to get to Santorini from Crete. All right guys, so we're stopping here on the way to this beautiful El Faniso beach. And this is a great spot. We could just have some fun here. You can see there are sea jets here. And this sea jet ferry takes us to Santorini in just two hours. Can you guys believe that? Hey guys, so we are on our way to the most famous beach in Greece and along the way you have to go all the way to the west of this island and on this beautiful island you would come across some amazing views and some very small villages and one such village is this one as you can see behind me there's the Greece flag and then some houses and then there's a cafe and a bar as well which is very small and has this feel of a very sort of a local place so really beautiful and something that you must do when you come to Greece drive through some local villages and try a coffee or a beer at a local bar or cafe. The traditional villages that you get in Crete is something that you wouldn't find in Santorini. Elephanosi is one of the most breathtaking beaches on Crete Island. Its clear blue waters, pink sand and its unique landscape attracts thousands of visitors every year. It has been ranked as one of the most beautiful beaches in the entire world. I decided to just have a relaxing rest of the day after swimming in the Mediterranean waters. Alright guys, so now we're ready to wrap up our beautiful sunset at this beach and it was a great experience a lot of people have come here today there are these uh, benches that you can rent as well that could be good you can uh, get yourself some drinks beer water ice cream and just enjoy the beautiful uh, weather here overall enjoyable experience definitely something that i would recommend if you're going to be coming to this part of the world
Good morning everyone. So today is day three here and we are about to leave for another beautiful experience here. Today we're going to Redemnos. There's an old town, there's a museum, and then there is some more additional stuff as well. <laughs> so now we're on our way and about 15 minutes away from this beautiful place and we are seeing some majestic views, some really beautiful mountains and ocean just coming all together. Hey guys, so we're still here in Ridimno, which is a beautiful city here and a village. And what we're doing here is going to the old town zone. And in this zone, you cannot take a car. So let's go walk in the old town zone. This is really a beautiful town that has some amazing features like narrow streets. You would also find a lot of shopping options and a beach that's a harbor beach where you could take a ferry to go to Santorini or a lot of other places that are popular. There are a lot of seaside restaurants that have amazing cuisine and I feel like you can really get that authentic Greek culture here. Um, also, there are some good shopping options, but I would highly recommend not buying from the very first shop where you like something, but go further deep into the town to explore this really amazing Mediterranean city in Crete. And uh, I think, yeah, this is the Dimnos Old Town Center where I'm walking. That's where most of the touristy things are to do. Places like this you would only find in bigger and more traditional islands like Crete, unlike Santorini. In Santorini, it's more about romance and party. Going to these traditional villages and old towns gives you an opportunity to do some shopping and also visit the historic side of this unique country. Hey guys, so I'm here at the Heriklion Archaeological Museum and it's a really good place. It's got a lot of uh, different artifacts because uh, Crete was a place, place where there were a lot of different uh, types of uh, people and invasions happened. So you would see a lot from there. Uh, there's the settlements from the Eastern Creek. That's the section, section that I'm in right now. And um, yeah, just uh, let me go ahead and show you the map. So that's the map of Crete. The Heraklion Archaeological Museum is a museum located near the airport and this was going to be our last destination that we visit here. It is one of the greatest museums in Greece and the best in the world for the Minoan art with amazing collection of artifacts of the Minoan civilization of Crete. Finally, as I end my visit in Crete, I believe that it is definitely worth visiting if you have enough time and if you have interest in history and museums. If you like hiking or if you would like more affordable hotels, then this is a place for you. Finally, if you're bringing kids along with you and if you're looking for variety, then come to Crete. The downside of this island is that you would need to have your own car. In the next part of my Greece series, join me as I visit the birthplace of democracy, the capital of Greece, Athena. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the visit to Acropolis and then going to the Temple of Poseidon. I would take a food tour and then take a cruise to Mykonos and Santorini.